Hey guys, this is Richard from Welshy Tech. Right, this is my next video for you. This is the review of the Fortis 5 from Salentium PC. Continue to watch. Right, so let's get into the benchmarks first, then I will tell you if I recommend it or not. Let's get to it. Right, so first, the first benchmark is Cinebench R20 CPU test. I run this for five minutes. Now, the idle temps of majority of these tests were very very consistent so the idle on this was 33 celsius the max was 67 celsius cinebench r20 which is usually more demanding was the same idle and the same max which was 33 and 67 blender uh, bmw was 33 celsius at 66 on max blender classroom was a little bit cooler at idle on a 32 celsius so that could be a margin of error but max was 66 then we've got some gaming benchmarks which was four of five uh, these are the temps idle is 33 max was 54 celsius which i was quite surprised shadow shadow of the tomb raider i put this in because it's very cpu uh, demanding so the idle was 33 max was 54 celsius so, here we go, another demanding game, which is Battlefield 5. Uh, idle is 33 Celsius, max is 56. Now, the last game I actually uh, included in this was Batman Markham Knight. The only reason is because during the benchmark, I run the benchmark a few times, and during that time, I noticed there were spikes of um, the CPU being in use more. So, during that test, the max it went up to was 44 but the what i found was interesting was the cpu usage now sometimes it would hit up to 50 and then sometimes it would hit up to 60 percent now the, the what astounded me was the fact that the, the max temperatures did not fluctuate they stayed very consistent between 43 and 44 but i they capped out at 44 celsius so Right, let's get into the review. That is just the benchmarks. That's just the benchmarks for it. Um, the benchmarks were they were set. I have been, I have had this um, CPU cooler in my system for about a week because I like to test it out my for personal reasons. Because the way I see it is, if you're going to test something, test it out in one day, it doesn't give you the same feel. You've got to test it the way as if you want to buy it. That's the way I test my items and the products that any manufacturer or any brand send me. I will test it for at least a week because I upload two videos per week, so I have the time to do it. Now, what I will say is that the Force 5 ARGB air cooler from Silentium is a very good cooler. Now, for the price of £66, I'd pay it because of the fact that it's a very unique looking cooler. Now, I have seen a few other brands that are copying, aka Antec, but I will say that for a um, brand that I've never heard of, I never heard of Salentium PC before this, SPC gear I've heard of, but Salentium PC, never heard of them. Until I was searching on Google, for CPU cooler brands. Now, that's what I usually like doing. I like to look out, look for the really small um, budget type or the very small brands because I like to gain a relationship with those brands because they are smaller, but I'm also small as well. So I got talking to a guy through the uh, marketing and very nice person, very nice guy. Um, very uh, polite and very respectful. I will say, very nice person. So he agreed to send me this out, and he also agreed to send me out the uh, the 950 streaming microphone, so then that my audio for my videos would be better. So that I would like to thank him for. But for this cooler, if you're looking for a very unique looking cooler, it is big for a, for a single fan to tower cooler. It's big. It's due to the fact that it's a 140mm ARGB fan. The fan has got very unique blades in it. It looks like a shark's teeth. 
Now that I loved that. If you've seen any of my posts on social media, the fact that it had shark teeth looking uh, blades and the fact that the edge would be on the top, I was ecstatic. Very excited about this cooler. As soon as I saw it, I thought, oh wow. But when you see it in person, it's a lot better. What I will say is the pictures don't do it any justice. The in-person look at it is a very, very, very nice looking cooler. And something I will say, Silentium, you're not having it back. Stayed in my system. It will be my, uh, for now, the cooler that stays in my computer system. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you also have been enjoying my recent content, like the Thermal Right cooler. That is really hitting hard with a lot of people. Could be my thumbnail, but it is a very big cooler. So, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and this is Richard Wells. Ah.